so it's a case of relapsing typhoid fever 44 years old sought an urgent appointment on 7th of july 24 for a relapse of typhoid were antibiotics not responding and the physician asked him to get admitted if the fever does not subside the complaint started that on 14th and 15th of june he had some outside dinner and on 16th he developed fever with chills that time he was diagnosed with typhoid fever subsided on 1st and 2nd of june so that was on 14th and 15th of may so there was no fever from 2nd june to 13th of june and then again chills from 4th of july which started at 6 to 7 pm with diarrhea and body ache first was the fever then body ache and then the diarrhea before diarrhea some mild discomfort during diarrhea some flatus with offensive stools after diarrhea no complaints the stools are brownish watery and offensive body pain pain especially from hips to toes it is worse in lying position better when he is in a fetal position better by warmth he feels better by covering the chill starts from the hands then goes to the legs mouth has become dry he desires fish cough is worse on talking and better after drinking past history again of typhoid jaundice chickenpox measles covid strong family history of diabetes and heart problems in general he eats hurried he desires spicy and sweets he is thirsty for sips or sometimes large quantity thermally he is hot during the first episode of typhoid he was advised usg where it showed some post void urine he sweats average in the axilla which is offensive sleeps good in any position sometimes not fresh he is a family type of person hard working caring very fastidious avarice anxious about the typhoid he is scared about his family members financial worries not meeting family expectations introvert desires company but of family members only he is stressed about his ca exams so we see what happens to him so we see here after 20 48 hours 9th of july he is feeling better fever was 99 loose motions have reduced this is the temperature chart which he had me uh, measured and kept so we started his consultation on 8th of july he was consulted on 7th july at night he received the medicines in the afternoon after 11 o'clock or something and from 11 o'clock you see the fever is 99 99.2 then again next day it's 99 at 6:30 then has come down to normal then again at 11 o'clock 9th of july it went to 99.8 on wednesday it has been almost normal this is i think after 3 days of medicine he says he has no fever little feverish when he checks there is no fever diarrhea continues body pain is nearly not there and diarrhea is one or two times and then on the 14th acha that is about this so loose motions i have mentioned that it should settle so when i repertorized his symptoms you see he is worse by cold he wants to cover himself he is worse in lying position when he is talking the cough comes while eating it is more and his mouth has become dry so you get arsenic as the remedy but 
I did not give him arsenic. What is not arsenic? That there was one thing which made me think that this is not arsenic. Is the absence of weakness. You see, he was absolutely in good state of health. So what I did, I went to my library at home. There is one very good book by Dr. Bhanja. It is a therapeutic book. I opened that. I started reading the drugs for typhoid fever. And in that remedy, he said that in typhoid fever, there is pain in the legs from the hips going to the legs in that medicine. When I came to that medicine, I asked him to check the temperature and the pulse. It's better you answer the call outside. Uh, temperature and the pulse. His temperature was 102, but how much was the pulse? 76. And that plus that symptom of the pain in the legs and then offensive diarrhea and typhoid fever and relapsing. The remedy is Pyrogen. That is how I came to pyrogen. Fever toxic with pain in the hips extending downwards. This is the symptom of pyrogen in typhoid fever, which is given in Bhanja, which I have read and I have got to know from other teachers also. Offensive diarrhea, offensiveness is a trait of uh, pyrogen. Now, this was interesting. Fever is 102 and pulse is 76. Pulse out of proportion to the temperature. Pyrogen 1M 3 hourly for 2 days. And this is something which I got in Morrison also. Dr. Morrison is also a direct student of Professor George Wittelkos. And this symptom is very marked thigh or leg pain during the chills. If you get this symptom, irrespective of the name of the fever and other remedies are not showing up, you can think of pyrogen. So that was a case of typhoid relapse with pyrogen. He did really well. That is the case. Any questions you have?